And this Saturday, we back up what we say. And we're not going to stop until we have gold. All right, so uh, after your match this weekend, and if you're not successful uh, defending your titles or whatever the case may be, I, I will have a, a box of Kleenex for you at the gimmick table. You see, that, that, that just shows how ignorant you are. That you think losing is even an... Oh, yeah. a piece of work. Oh. We're not showing up. With, we're not leaving without our gold. All right? So you can get that out of your head. Well, I, I got somebody on the line that, that, that thinks otherwise. Uh, Scotty Priest. Who? Oh. Hey, What's that piece of garbage oh, going on the line? Come him out there, Zach Snivel, dude. Uh, what's up, Coach Jeff? How are you? What's going on? <laughs> uh, just uh, preparing for uh, the good old... Capitals of Stanley Cup win tonight and preparing to uh, make some magic happen on Saturday, if you know what I mean. Yeah, you know what? While you're working, while you're watching that game, I'll be training. I'll be working out. I'll be getting better than you in every way possible. Not like it's hard. I mean, you're stuck with Jose. That speaks volumes to your character and how hard you think of yourself. Will you uh, also be training to fix that tooth of yours? <laughs> very, very funny. Very I'm funny. A, I'm, a, I'm a very funny guy. Um, you know, Coach Kev, uh, I got to tell you, I, I saw all the posts on Facebook and all the other social media outlets that uh, Aaron Bradley here was going to come on and vent his frustrations. Mm -hmm. I'm really you, surprised you can read them. <laughs> I was going to chime in and give my two cents, but uh, to be totally honest with you, Coach Kev, uh, it's kind of like Aaron Bradley and Steve Off's matches. I kind of fell asleep and didn't really hear a word that was said. So could you possibly fill me in on what uh, his so-called frustrations are? You, you know what's funny is you'll be sleeping during our match because we'll be knocking your ass out. <laughs> so you'll be sleeping during another Aaron Bradley and Steve Off match, yeah. See, here's, here's what I got to uh, say here, Coach Kev. Um, you probably don't know this, but... Um, you know, about a month ago, uh, Pro Wrestling Magic had a uh, little uh, show in New Jersey, uh, the Casa Meadow Cup. And uh, I kind of went there to scout the so-called talent that me and Jose are facing Saturday night. Yep. Now, me personally, I went into the lion den. I went into his backyard, and while, you know, Steve Alvin and Aaron Bradley, yeah, they did walk away with the tag team titles, and they did. And, like, we'll do this Saturday. I'm this fucking house is a goddamn wreck. What the hell kind of place do you think that is? Master Joe, Master Joe, calm down, Master Joe. I'll get you. You know what, guys? There's a fucking hot out there. What the fuck? I apologize. This bullshit is out. As I was saying, I went into their backyard, and they did. Fucking that dumb and walking. Oh, my God. Uh, I could have came at a better time. <laughs> public service announcement. Uh, I know nothing. But anyway. <laughs> so I walked into their backyard at the Castle Meadow Cup, and they did walk away with the tag team gold because they beat the psycho drivers ever cross and smiley. But the problem with that was is that they didn't do it on their own. They had their little uh, big cast guy, John Teller, come out and kind of kick the face off of uh, Smiley, and, you know, they, they beat him that way. So afterwards, while they were walking around the ring doing a little celebration, thinking they won, I made myself known and let them know that I was coming for them this Saturday night, and they didn't do a damn thing. We don't so, concern ourselves with the other side of the guardrail, Scotty. That's the problem. You're too concerned with the other side of the guardrail. We don't give a damn what anyone thinks. Well, my, my question to you is, I let it be known that I was coming for you guys. I came into your backyard. I stood to both of you and your little boy, John Teller, and the rest of the whole American Murder Society, and you did nothing. You just sat, sat there, tucked your tail between your legs, and went off about your business. As so I now, said, you're you... coming into our backyard at Warriors of Wrestling. What do you think is going to happen when we actually get in that ring and me and Jose beat you? This backyard is a fucking mess because you don't want to fucking clean it. <laughs> what, what is that asshole saying? Oh my god, he's complaining. All right, he's uh, complaining. Scotty, I'll, I'll, I'll entertain your little, I'll entertain your little question. What do I think is going to happen when I walk in supposedly your backyard? Well, 
I'm going to smack you right in your face. I'm going to steal Jose's mask, and Steve and I are going to walk out champions, just like we do everywhere we go. Everywhere. Well, that's where you're wrong. So you're not going to touch Jose's mask, and if I ever see you try to take his mask off, I'm going to come in there and knock one between your eyes. First and foremost. Yeah. Right. Second of all, you know, you're, you're, you're sleeping, sleeping on the outside. You're talking all this trash, and you're wanting to vent your frustrations out. I know what the real frustration is, Aaron. See, what you don't know is me and your girlfriend are little best friends a little bit, and she comes to me with her problems and concerns. Oh, um, dude, you got to fix that snaggle tooth of yours because one way or another, you're going to end up giving her a hysterectomy when you do the foreplay gimmick. So you need to kind of help that out. Oh, geez. Yeah, I think I think my girlfriend's the last thing you need to be talking about. Scotty will nail nose clone in your bed. <laughs> wait, wait. Is, it, is this the uh, the same girlfriend that uh, Rob Fury was trying to friend quest on Facebook? Yeah, Rob Who's, Fury's a piece of shit, who too. Who is Rob Fury? Who is he? <laughs> is he? Wait, is he the black one or the white one? Um, I'm going to go with uh, white. <laughs> would you tell okay. Would you well, tell Bellini anyway. to go read his text message and relax? <laughs> All joking and kidding aside, let me tell you what's really going to happen on Saturday, Aaron. You and Steve Off, you're going to walk into our backyard at Warriors of Wrestling at the fun stage. Yeah, and smack you right in your face, and you ain't going to do shit. You ain't going to do yeah, shit about it, Scotty. Because you, you can't. Can go ahead and, you can go ahead and talk all the junk you want about how Jose is just a small little guy, how I'm just all fun and games in the ring. The one thing Jose's the same you know, little scrub that Scotty and I, that, that Rob, Steve and I used to pick on. on. Man, fuck Rob Fury. Let's talk about something that matters. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> oh, All right, so let me ask this. And the only thing that... Wait, let me ask this. Let me ask what? this. What? Okay, uh, this is what I wanted to ask right before Scotty called in. You took on the Apostles of Chaos. You lost. That's a team that's in your face, smash mouth, beat the crap out of you, nothing fancy. Uh, they're coming right at you full force. Now you're facing a totally different tag team. Some finesse, some high flying, a lot more technical ability. Totally different ball game. So how do you have this much confidence that you can you're gonna go in there and have your way and walk out champions? Because we're a different team. Have you have you been listening, Kevin? Not really. Have you been listening? Or are you tough talking on Facebook like you have been? Uh, I'm I'm tweeting. You, you believe? Do you believe the bullshit that actually comes out of your mouth? Uh, most times, yes. Do you? Yeah, mostly. <laughs> you, you really aren't the most intelligent guy in the room. You wouldn't be the most intelligent guy in the room if you were the only one in the room. That's the problem. I'll tell you what. What gives me the confidence that we're going to be a completely different style mm -hmm. of wrestlers? One, Jose's four foot two. No. I will swat him like a fly. He's four foot Scotty, three. Let's make it right. If we're gonna, I don't if we're gonna care. name facts, we gotta make the facts right. He's four foot three, probably a hundred pounds soaking wet, but he's got the biggest heart out of anybody in that entire locker room. Heart doesn't mean shit when I'm kicking you in the face, Scotty. What don't you get? I thought heart was. I will shatter oh. that heart. I will shatter his heart just like every time he's ever tried to attempt to date a woman. Why are you trying to date a woman for that fact? And you know what, Scotty? I've had, for you. More, I've had more women and more titles than you've had in your entire career. So let's yeah, I know. Straight. You're dealing with a four-time tag team champion. How many titles have you held in the last two years? Four, actually, yeah. Last two years, I've held four. You've won, you have won four tag titles in the last 16 years. Congrats, Scotty. Really, congrats. And you know what the fact is? The fact is that none of your tag partners ever stuck around because you can't carry the workload. You leech off of every single one of your tag team partners. Because that's what I you've leech. done your entire life. That's what you've done your entire life. You're a leech. You reach over others' talents that take you to the next level. That's the difference between you, me, and Steve Ong. If Steve Ong and myself, we can handle our own. We are the next level. You need somebody to get you to the next level. That's the problem with you. And as soon as Jose smartens up and learns about three words of English, they'll tell you to go screw yourself, too, because he's about ready to, and done with your shit. 
two. Let me ask you a question, Aaron Bradley. Uh, how does it feel knowing that a guy that talks to dead birds or squirrels in a cage is more over than you and Steve are? I'll tell you what. You have nothing to worry about with the Dr. Destruction Robert Arian. That man is a genius. And he is one of the reasons, not the only reason like you like to believe, but one of the reasons the AMS will be holding DQW championships too. Well, I guess me and Jose this will time, come take those belts off you too then, just like we're going to take the Pro Wrestling Magic titles off you Saturday. You you keep believing that. You have your oh, little sweet little fairy tale. You have your good, you know, your feel-good dreams at night. I hope it helps you sleep because... I'll tell you what, Saturday, these dreams, these fairy tales, they turn into goddamn nightmares. What fucking power? <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't. So, oh, man. Okay. You know what, Scotty? I'm, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, you know what, Scotty? All, 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 Aaron, all Aaron does is make me laugh with all his little, you know, antics and everything. You know, you know what, Scotty? I've been for 16 years. I'm, I'm going to make you... I'm going to make you watch Steve and I beat the shit out of Jose. I'm going to make you watch me unmask him and show the world how fucking ugly he is. You're not. He can't be as ugly as you with that snaggle tooth, let me tell you. Um, woo. Yeah. <laughs> you can joke about my teeth, but that receding hairline of yours says a different story, Scotty. Well, we, can also talk, we can also talk about that thing you call facial hair. I mean, good God, man. You look like a prepubescent teen going through puberty. I mean, right. you know, it is what it is. But right. let me ask you, let me ask you, um, when you so-called kick me in the face and, you know, when you beat the crap out of Jose and take his mask and everything, are you going to be doing that on your own or are you going to actually have your little boy's uh, teller and your other boy, your, uh, your, uh, your, your heavyweight champion, come out and help you out like you did last month? If you were as good as you say you are, you wouldn't worry about who we have coming out. Oh, so you're going to... So right, right, right. I, 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 have that disagree, gonna have I would have to disagree up. with that. It doesn't See, matter how good anybody is. If you've got three, four people coming out of the locker room, I don't care who, how big you are or how good you are. You're outnumbered. You're outnumbered. We win at all costs. That's all I'm saying. Win at all costs. In other words, you can't do jack shit without a little bit of help from your friends. Have a little help from your friends. Which means how, yes, you how, need are, you gonna, now. how are you going to walk out Saturday with the championships if those friends will not be with you? How? By doing what we do every time. We show up, we kick ass. Help me shut up on that phone. I want that fucking audio cleaned off. I want it swept. Wow. And on the side of the house, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you go do your little work, you bitch boy? Go do your little work. Do what Master said. That guy's a fucking untrained guy, that fucking fat, cranky love. What the fuck is wrong, man? Who's bringing up this guy? Why would anybody bring that fucking weak card up? Why why are we still, why are you still on Rob Fury? All you have to do is mention his name and it just triggers Joe. That... That man is irrelevant, Joe. That man is irrelevant, Joe. <laughs> and you know what, Joe, while you're at it? While you're at it? No, no, we're saying you're, you're triggered when Rob Fury... I'm not going to that guy triggered. Don't get me started with that guy. You don't get to go off her. Lexa Rose? <laughs> she calls herself the ring queen. She's the ring rat. Everybody's Joey. Everybody's coming. Joey. Joey. After we're done beating your former tag champs, why don't you put us in the ring with the AOC? Because you're not going to beat us, number one, in the AOC or me and Jose's uh, next door deal. Because we saw Scotty, the title. Scotty, you're irrelevant in this conversation. Only he gives a shit what you have to say. Don't you have a patio to sweep? <laughs> uh, now. Gotta love non wrestling related I'm gonna materials. I'm going to sweep the ring with your face on Saturday, brother. Oh, 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 good one, good one. So, uh, you know what? Where where's Steve off in this this whole ordeal? Is was it not like Jello break at the asylum? Steve off is training. Well, I mean, just like Scotty should be. He's got a lot Instead of, of walking his stupid ass, fake ass, hitting those rubber walls with fierceness. He's hitting those rubber. 
Here's the, that's the training.